Hi, and welcome to my channel. We're playing a new game called Roadrunner. We have a little guy, a little purple marker, that's going to start right here and race around this track. And each one of the little things means something. Basic, basic rules are, if I land on one of these arrows, nothing really happens. If I land on one of these arrows, you can see that they jump across the board in random places so I will follow that arrow and if I land on a stop sign I have to go backwards I'll roll and see how many spaces I have to go back hopefully I can make it around this board without having a million books but it's the first time I've played this TBR game so we're just gonna see what happens okay just the same as last time first of all there are red and blue spaces or no, not red orange and blue spaces as you can see and the orange spaces are going to be for the hey reader prompts and the blue spaces are going to be for the tbr machine that will make sense after i roll but let's get going eight spaces and of course it pushes me back, back to here, which is not a stop sign, but it is an, a, an orange prompt. Okay, roll number one is orange, and for orange, we get to pick any of these Hey Reader cards, a book that ends in an odd number of pages. Okay, great. Okay, I'm going back here to my story graph, earliest added, the vines is already on a list, and it's the only one that so far has been odd. Dial A for aunties is the first one that is an odd page number. So that's the first book I'll be reading. Okay, roll number two. Ooh, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another orange prompt, but I don't have to go backwards. Okay, pick number two is also orange. So let's do this one. A place in the title. Okay, so we come right back here. Strivers Row, that's a place, right? It's an actual street or a row. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going with. I like these big numbers. Oh, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm at the end. I don't get to go that way. It has to be where the thing is pointing brings me back this way. But now I just have a plain blue prompt. Okay, then we got our first blue, and that is the TBR machine. So I'm going to randomize it. Read a horror book. Okay, so we're still over here. Nosferatu is already on one of my things, so I can't use that one. Let me just filter for horror, and then I think what I'll do is, like, pick a random number. That way I'm not always picking the earliest one on the list. So let's see how many I have. 151 books. That's not too much. Pick a number between 1 and 151. It's 118. Of course it is. But this is earliest added. So it's actually just book 33 if I go to latest added, which is what I'm going to do, and count to 33. Okay, this is number 30. 31, 32, 33. Cold Comforts by Marianne Halbert. Oh, it's a short story a set of short stories from my friend Steve at Steve Talks Books and Stuff. It's actually just Steve Talks Books. Okay. Oh, three. One, two, three. Just a regular orange. Okay. Then we got another orange. I'm going to go this one. Seasonal. A book that suits the season you're currently in. Okay. So let me go up here and take my filter off. And then I'll just scroll Maybe I'll do authors or titles. I've never done titles. Let me do pages. Oh, I don't have, oh, I do have title. Okay, I'm going to do title A to Z, and I'm just going to scroll and see if I find one that is, I've already read this book. <laughs> okay, I'm going to find one that has, I forgot the thing, seasonal. Okay, okay, yes, seasonal. It is spring, by the way, but it's also still cold here, so we'll see. Okay, so I see this is after the flood, which makes me feel like springtime brings lots of rain. But then also there's this age of myth. And look at this big tree. Like that looks very cool. Like a 
spring blooms are just coming out on the tree. Okay. Age of Myth, The Legends of the First Empire. That's what I'm going with. I have scrolled through quite a few so far. Okay. Nine. Oh, I get to slide forward. It's an orange prompt, but I'm closer to being done. Okay, this is book number five. One, two, three. Yes, book number five is also orange. I'm going to go with the first card. An obscure book? Does that just mean one that I've never heard of? Because I do have some on my list that I've never actually heard of. Let me go to my earliest added on my list and look and see what we have. Okay, this right here, The Ancient Nine by Ian K. Smith. I don't even know that I've heard of this, and I don't know why it's on my list. I didn't write any of that stuff down, but this is what we're going to go with as an obscure book. Okay, that's not bad. I'm at five books so far, so let's go. High number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. It's a blue prompt. Okay, prompt number six is blue. I'm getting a little bit scared. I hope this is the last one. Here we go. Read a book by a New Zealand author. Oh my gosh, New Zealand. How am I going to know? Okay, I'm going to have to do a search for New Zealand authors and see if there's somebody that I know is on my list from New Zealand. There's so many. <laughs> None of them are like jumping out at me. Okay, so of course we get a Goodreads list of New Zealand authors' books. So I have heard of Burnham Wood. It's not on my list. The Tattooist of Auschwitz is not on my list either, but I've definitely heard of that. Oh, Tamsin Mir, Gideon. Okay, because I think, I think book two is on my list. I read Gideon the Ninth, but I have not read Harrow. Is that what's next? Let me look. Yeah, Harrow the Ninth is next. Okay, that's what I'm going with. I have one, two, three, four spaces. Anything, four or more, and the game is over. Come on, one, two, seven. Yes, okay, the game is over. And I ended up with six books. That's not bad. Okay, here are the six Roadrunner books all ready to go for when I land on one of those spaces. That is going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think about any of these books. I'm really excited that I got some of them. I mean, some of them have, to have no memory of or don't know anything about them, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll get to them when we get to them, and it'll be fun. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.